Greetings, everybody. Radaman here. Thank you for tuning in to Kenshi Shek's Conquest, episode 86, Strong Like Shek. Hang on one second. Where is... Oh, here it is. So the tin can helmet uh, would be a possibility apart from the samurai helmet. The advantages of the tin can helmet, it has um, slightly less armor than uh, the samurai, but it's way more harpoon resistant. And one could make the argument that uh, that if we're going to get like one shot by anything, it's going to be a harpoon to the head. Because harpoon to the head is one of the most damaging things that could happen to you, right? And the tin can helmet protects uh, actually considerably better than the uh, uh, than the uh, the samurai helmet when it comes to harpoon headshots. So there could, there could be an argument to be made to to switch up, but it looks like that's going to get voted down anyway. Come on, keep moving. Okay, fine. I'll just do it like this. Rest in peace. RIP95, thank you for the resub. Cheers. The uh, the crab helmet is definitely better than the samurai helmet, but getting the blueprint is kind of annoying and it also looks heinous. Very, very heinous. So, uh... That's one of the reasons why I didn't consider that as a possibility. I'm trying to think of the other 100% coverage helmets. Um... For medium armor... Hmm... Yeah, it would just be the mast helmet. So the mast helmet... Uh, and the police helmet, too. The police helmet, I don't have the blueprints for, but the mast helmet is medium armor, and, uh, as is the police helmet. They both have 100% coverage. The police helmet protects against dust storms. The mast helmet has, like, the least penalties of all of the, uh, the helmets that you can wear, which is exactly why I have a mast helmet for headshot. So she only gets a perception penalty of five. Which is very, very minor. Well, you guys have spoken, so let me continue to armor up. And then the last thing will be to get the... Oh god, what is on you, Els? Uh, to get the, the good samurai armor and everyone. Because you voted for that to go now. So L's, for instance, maybe L's shouldn't be the first one with Masterworks, because he's not particularly strong. Let's give it to Rain. So Rain, you got Masterwork pants, Masterwork everything except for shirt. Wow. Okay, so she's basically exactly what we want to arm, arm up with. Um, and now you can see her run speed... A lot of this is due to encumbrance, but her run speed is down to 18. If I lost the boots, it'd be even worse. This is uh, this is something that we're going to typically see when I gear everyone up. Is that their run speeds are going to start to tank. No way around that. Alright, the next thing I'm going to have you all vote on is what we do next. So, let me just square this away, and I'll get that pull up. Where is Glitch? Probably going for steel. Okay, what to do next?
There we go. Simple little poll here. Option number one, armoring up. Wait until I have all of the armor that we have queued up for us to wear worn. I wouldn't wait for Masterworks. Special, special would be just fine. Um, so trying to get everyone at least in spe specialist grade. Uh, option number two, training. Uh, we are definitely going to be encumbered due to lack of strength. I don't really want to cheese strength training too much, but I would consider training until they aren't encumbered. If you all vote on that. Option number three, seek out tech. Uh, there is still tech left in the tech tree here that have yet to be unlocked. And we could unlock that if you want. Option number four, attacking an enemy. We could attack a weaker Holy Nation outpost or something like that. You all could decide. Or option number five, a viewer submitted idea. Something that you all suggest instead of me. I'm going to try to get Chemo to make these specialty armors. So the... On the leather armor crafting bench, I have Assassin's Rags and, um... And that will be for Headshot, and then I have uh, Drifter's Leather Jackets, rather, for Headshot, and the Assassin's Rags for Poetic. Maybe. I'm not 100% sure about what Poetic will be wear wearing. I'm also starting to get planks and frag axes. This is an edge two plank, so the best possible plank that we could even make. That's kind of fun. So where is headshot? There we go. So headshot's ditching her old white plate. Let's, what does she look like now? Yeah, she looks pretty good. So this armor uh, obviously doesn't protect her all that much, but it allows her to shoot 10% faster, so. Does attacking HN outposts trigger uh, attacks on us? It kind of depends on where you live. Uh, HN attacks you if you live close to it more than if you've pissed them off. They care about more if you've uh, been harassing them. Self-proclaimed, thanks for gifting out subs to the community. And a whole lot of regulars got subs too. Cheers. Welcome. You get the pink light for a bit. You're definitely uglifying pink light. <laughs> yeah, very cool. I'm down. All right, I'm going to put a timer on this. Two minutes left to vote, if you haven't voted already. And then I'll have you all vote on what kind of training that we do. Um, I wouldn't... You know, I'll, I'll allow you to just sort of choose how much. Because I'm I'm just not really sure uh, what you're all going to want in that, in that regard. So if you're wondering what I mean, I mean, you know, are we going to train until we have... As much strength as we can train. Are we going to train until we can just use heavy weapons? There, Kenshi will allow you to do a lot of training. Uh, and risk basically nothing in doing so. So, I want you to sort of decide how much cheese are we going to get. Are we going to go full training, which is like maximum cheese? Or are we going to just do a reasonable amount? Hey, Jay Wedge, thanks for the follow. You like the uh, the radio voice? It's all a voice changer. I actually have a very high-pitched voice in real life. I'm su I'm such a squeaker. And it, I just come through this wonderful mic setup and, and sound. Uh, sound like I can put you to sleep. <laughs> Maybe that's true. You'll never know. Unless I forget to turn on the voice mod. And then uh, all of a sudden, I'm going to sound like a Warcraft 3 goblin. Trying to squeak at you. Oh, they don't have any money. I have laundered so much garbage through these this way station. I'm glad that the game doesn't have the concept of like a uh, an economy because. I absolutely sell so much 
complete garbage to them that nobody's gonna want. Was that a lamp? What was that? Did anyone just... Oh, no, you're going around the corner. Okay, it was Garu. I was like, is this my Herobrine incident? Like, am I Herobrining here? But no, no, it was an actual thing. I... It's like, what is that? How much strength training should we allow? So, for point of reference, someone like uh, Rockfin is at 31 strength, Kang is at like 41, I think, 42. But most people are somewhere in the realm of the 20s. So, how much strength should we al training should we allow? And when I say strength training like this, it means like carrying people around while encumbered. It does not mean wielding heavy weapons in combat. He wielding heavy weapons in actual combat is not strength training. That's fighting with the added benefit of training strength at the same time, which is fundamentally different. Uh, I think most people will, will agree. So... That's not what I'm talking about here. I'm talking about uh, cheese strength training where, where you just carry someone around like uh, on your back and and that's you, you risk nothing. Except for maybe getting nibbled by a big thing as we walk around the, the desert here. So the reason for like maximum cheese would be some of the weapons, especially the Mato weapons, like if we kill Asada. Asada has a weapon that, like, you need maxed strength to wield. But that doesn't necessarily mean we should cheese the strength. You can definitely loot that weapon and then use it ineffectively for a bit at lower, you know, at lower strength, working your strength up. So, I'm happy to go any round. But one of the things that I can do is, for the people that want to use heavy weapons, start to give them heavy weapons even though they're going to be massively encumbered. And why is everyone grabbing, uh... What are they all doing? Everyone that's idling is grabbing electrical components and then putting them back. Is there, like, a, a light that they can't path to or something? What is going on? They're full on bugged. Well, whatever. It's free athletics training, I guess. So, I'll allow it. This is exactly the same place that you you built. It's it's a pretty opportunistic place. It's uh it's a nice spot. I'm not gonna lie. It's got two biomes. It's pretty. Swamp's a great biome as is uh, the desert at times. I'll even buy sleepless long coat. Merc leathers. Okay. I came over here mostly just to sell stuff. Maybe buy some food. Oh, good. Barman literally doesn't have food. Very useful. And this is all helmets. So the armored face plates are pretty good, but they, um... People buy an iron hat blueprint. For headshot again. Whoa, they are selling a Massburg Eagle Cross. I, I, I should be, what I, you're right. I should be checking these shops for uh, proper backpacks, like this one. I'm just very bad at that. It's always in the back of my mind, but not at the forefront. So every time I stop into these traders, it's, I, it's never like, oh, buy backpacks. And I, I frequent Shinobi Thieve Towns all the time, where I could be buying out the backpacks. Wow, they have a Masterwork Hack Stopper. 
Oh, is that the one I sold them? Yeah, I think that's the one I sold them. I don't think the, uh, this town has refreshed since the last time I've been here. If they have, uh, what's-his-name's, uh, armor. Alright, looks like we're doing strength training up to 40. Got it. Let me update the goal. Strength train to 40. I'll get this going in just a sec. Oh, Rockman, you were supposed to go back home. So what I want to do is I want to actually do some combat while I do this. So that it's a little interesting and also a little faster. I think the probably the best way is to have a buddy up system where we do 16-16, but that means I need more backpacks. So actually, Rockman, I lied to you. When I said come home, I meant go back to the way station. I lied and I'm sorry. Um, Kang. Let's have you go back to the flats, actually. He's like, but I'm halfway home. Yeah, I know you're halfway home. I don't. I, I apologize. So I think what I want to do is try to get uh, 16 encumbering bags so that and, and ideally get enough planks and um, uh, frag axes so that 16 people can wield the planks and frag axes while holding people while encumbered, training up to 40 really, really fast if I can find the combat, and then swap when we're done. That's, that would be ideal. So I need to get an accurate count of how many bags we even have at home. I think I have like eight, maybe. And they're not all full of ore. So let's see. Nine. I have nine. Okay. So now I just bought three more. That's 12. So I, I'd only need four more at a Kang. And then I'll have bags for half the squad to encumber themselves. It's, uh, the reason why I don't do this very often is it's a lot of micromanagement. It sort of hijacks everything else that I'm possibly working on. And, you know, it's just a lot of time and effort. Not that I have anything against time and effort, but, um, I'm often asked questions on YouTube of, like, why aren't you constantly training people? It's like, because I am one person playing a game while reading chat, while trying to remain entertaining. It's easier said than done. Uh, getting, you know, all these people trained up at the same time, managing them, keeping them all alive. Gets to be a bit busy. Uh, we didn't find other backpacks here, so... Hmm, Morn's probably not gonna have any backpacks, but might as well just keep traveling around. Ignifolio, thank you for the resub. Almost a full year. Almost. I do think I have one spare backpack, because uh, Rockfin has one on him. Uh, so the backpacks that are empty I'm going to put in here. It's going to be pretty easy to encumber everybody, because uh, one of the one of the things I'm going to have them do... Oh my god, that's a lot of rice. Is I'm going to have everyone uh, wear the planks and frag axes, which just the weight of the plank or frag axe is going to encumber a lot of our people uh, automatically. All right, what is going on with you, Turda? Turda keeps filling his inventory full of chainmail and running out of space for everything else. Quite that. All right, so Turda, when you're done, don't chainmail fabricate, just plate beat. And let's add to this leaning tower of chain mails. Oh no, it's a new new stack. These are glitches, wakasashis, and then these are the weapons that we're going to use for strength training. And ideally, I'd like 16 of them. It's not going to be necessary, but it's going to be faster if I have that.
Uh, I know that chainmail smithing is a great way to grind armor smithing. It's my guys are already well into the 90s, and I'm trying to make armor. So, uh, yeah, I. I'm not trying to grind skill. That's the least of my concerns. Come on, a slotus. Go. Well, we still have a lot of chain shirts to make. But we're close in getting all the leg plates we need. Yoda. Here you go. Yoda. Sometimes needs a little encouragement. I'm not sure. Point. So what do we need? One, two, three, four, five. That's not how to count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Actually, seven more leg plates because uh, poetic doesn't count. So. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I believe that's all we need. Let me double check. That's headshot, so yeah, she doesn't take one. The night knave needs one. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So eight more. It's like just kind of poetic. I know I'm being confusing. I'm sorry. So eight more leg plates and we'll be good. So Shona and Turta are making armor plating so that we can make the last eight plates that we need. Kimo is still working on these chain mails, which is taking forever and a day. And a posture check for me. All right, Kang decided to just soak in the Flats Lagoon, even though I told him to keep running. And then uh, Rockfin here, I'm going to send you up to, if the map would stop glitching out, up to the hub. I wouldn't mind more Shinobi Thief bags as well. Stockpile them for the actual combat. Um, yeah, we have a pretty good amount of raw iron to weigh us down. So I don't think that's going to be all that necessary. So four... Three more bags. I don't want to fight the gorilla, so... Where... Why'd I even come here? This city sucks. Well, they got bags for me. Like, a lot of them. the point where I'm almost out of space for him. One, two, three. So I just need one more wooden backpack and I'll have all the wooden backpacks I, I want. Or I need for the training. Got it. Getting pretty close. Alright, Kang, you come home. That was oddly fruitful. And I'll probably be able to find it uh, with Rockfin in the hub, I'd imagine. So now I just have to make sure that my uh, armor smiths are not uh, doing something silly. Every now and then they just forget what they're cued to do. Oh, I didn't check any of the crafters for their leg plates, so I'm going to need more plates than that. That also just occurred to me is I have four crafters to think about. Please load the building. <laughs> I keep changing floors. Oh, okay. Maybe I'll just look away and come back. Jidey, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. This could easily be 
perceived as like the last big push before the big war. That we've proven ourselves, we've taken all of these splinter shank. We now are stealing ourselves, quite literally covering ourselves in steel armor, for the push against Holy Nation. And I'm having a super hard problem with the... There we go. Oh, no, you don't have it? Ah, oh, damn you. Maybe my old base had a back... No, I wouldn't have left a backpack there. Fine. Permanent Yoda cam? Not anymore, it isn't. <laughs> Where's your traitor? He seems to be air fighting the dummy. Oh, that's a assassination dummy. Okay, no, he's doing what he should do. All right, let's try the high village. Um, the issue here is if I do find something at the hive. Nah, I guess I've just made space. So King will be a good test subject of how much encumbrance in a backpack we need because he has our set target of 40 strength. He has 42 strength. So if it can encumber him, it's enough weight. Accounting for like armor uh, weight and stuff like that. So we're gonna want to make it a little bit extra heavy, but yeah. So right now, uh, this is 100% encumbering. Oh, cause I made these backpacks super heavy, didn't I? Let me let me double check. No, not that bad. Okay, yeah. All right, so let's uh, let's get all these backpacks set up. So I need um, 16 of them. I'm just going to make sure that all of these are queued up properly. I'd like to move away from these scav backpacks, but I think they, they weigh enough that it should work. Yeah. Okay. I'm just going to uh, believe that I set those up right, so. Let's get Kang to put weight in here, and then we can start to weight train. Oh, bandits want to fight me. That's so quaint. So I believe it was 18 a piece, 18 a bag. Doesn't leave us with a lot of ore left, but uh, there we go. Put my spare AI cores in there. Not really sure how much that would help. Rockvin seems to be petting the gorilla, and that is not a euphemism for anything. Uh, could we not? What, you don't have one either? Now you guys are just making me sad. Where am I gonna go for this? I can't go into Shek territory. I'll just go back to the way station and hope their, uh, their inventory has refreshed. Is this... Oh, the bandit demands are coming in now. So that's 12 bags, 13, 14, 15, and one more will be 16 whenever we find it. Are the prisoners? That's a good question. Uh, I 
Tor is about to die, Ghost is dead, and Flying Bull is starving. Tor is going to be dead in any moment, moment now. We're watching her life force go poof. Flying Bull was the most well fed, so she's he's going to be the last. I'll check into the hub again. Oh, I could go to the uh, way station near Tor's camp. Yeah. Well, Tor's ex camp, I should say. She's about to perish. I'll do that. the one. Nope, we delivered the ore. Thanks, Kang. They used it, so you have to go get more. When Kang's helpful, he's frustrating. Lois, thanks for gifting out a sub. So here is that bag, and then we're just waiting for more ore to be mined, I guess. Oh, we got a searchlight built. So I guess there was a searchlight somewhere that we couldn't actually path to, and someone finally managed to path to it. There, I tried to fix broken mesh data, thinking that that might have been the problem. Seriously? You're going to win something? Oh, this is a joke. I'm just going to ignore that. Come on, Rockfin. Keep moving. Come on, dude. Yeah, that explains the, uh, the electronics running back and forth. Exactly. I was wondering what that was this whole time. I figured it was something like that, that they just wanted to build but couldn't get access to. But I never sort of assumed that they would get there eventually. Usually when, once it's bugged, it's forever bugged. But I guess not. I guess they made their magic. Oh, a Trader's Guild is here. Yeah, let me take a look. Nope, not going to be helpful. All right, let's make sure that these guys are doing the appropriate work. If the buildings will ever load. Here we are. So, ooh, more Masterworks, too. Good, I'll have to uh, make sure that they get in tanks' hands. So Rockfin is heading to the way station to try to get that last bag. I'm just, so what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to train the strength like the most efficient way possible so it's not dreadful for all of you out of respect, mostly. Was, you don't want to pull your, your hair out. But it's not going well trying to get this last bag. It's, oh, there we go, there we go, thank you. All right, let's get home. So as punishment for Kang using, there we go, making the, delivering the ore to an actual box. I'm having him ore mine. So now I only need to set two more of these trader bags up. That's just 36 more ore and we'll be good. Running out of space in this weapon cabinet. Uh, some of these weapons I can sell. But I think what I'm going to do is those that are the most... Uh, need the most strength will probably take the heavy weapons because they will help to train that the best. 
And then once we're done, we have all these new thieves backpacks that we'll be able to outfit everybody with once strength training is done. And don't worry, I won't sell the memorial sword or the unique bull sword, the, uh, the gifted bull sword. So... Rockfin? Okay, yeah. That was Rockfin's bubble. Who else is coming to us? A uh, Western Hive trader coming in. My guess is, uh, still not 100%, or rather 100. I'll just keep having them stone process. Thought it was gonna be full by now, but nope. All right, there we go. This one's full. I'm just gonna have King continue mining. So we only need to fill up, um, well, let me make sure I get the proper count. So we have 12 here, 13, 14, 15, so only one. So Rockfin's spare bag that he's currently wearing, I don't even need to fill up with ore. Just one more bag. And then we're... We're golden, we're gravy. Oh, the trader might have had lamps? Well, that, uh, the, the trader incoming might have lamps, yeah. Because they're, um, a hiver trader. That'd be, that'd be good. I wouldn't mind that. Alright, there's the last bag. We got it all. Now I'm just going to spend a minute to get everybody in their armor, their proper armor. And Rockfin, let's ditch this. I shouldn't have ditched it like that, but let's ditch this trader bag. So this is a spare trader bag. Rockfin will take one of these standard bags because he gave the other one to Kang. Actually, Kang, you need a bag too. Kang doesn't need a strength train. Uh, cause he's already past the 40 mark. That's another thing that I didn't really account for is, uh, we probably, I think Shona's nearly past the, the, um, 40 mark. So we don't really have need of all the training stuff that we have. Cause some people are beyond it. Oh, well, I mean, whatever. Oh, well. So now for armor. The masterworks are gonna go to the tanks, so that would be let's get Ruka a pair. So now Ruka has needs the chest armor, but Ruka has masterwork pants and shirt. Nice. And we'll try to get through the rest of this outfitting as fast as we are able. Bowers. Oh. Uh, interesting. Look a little different. Callies. Jackbot. Gonna miss these cloth pants and being speedy. Uh, poetic, you're not even getting one of these. Fully. Oh, this is Masterworks, so that should go to one of the tanks. Actually, Fully is one of the tanks. So... That goes to you. And let's mark that down. Alright, takes me a minute. Oh, 
All right, the bolts I don't need in this backpack. And then I'm gonna have Kane go sell some of the weapons and armor that we don't need anymore. Freeing up some space. Do I have an, <laughs> an epic creator tag? Uh, what do you mean? I'm not even sure I deserve it, if there is such a tag. So how many weapons do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. In an ideal world, we would have 16, but seven is a lot to work with. Seven will work a bit. Okay, so here are the no hive goods. Please have lamps. I love lamp. Please have, please. No lamps. Well. No, oh, come. I wasn't done talking to you. Don't walk away from me before I finish the cut. Who trained you? What what etiquette class did you fail? Worst etiquette ever. Not whatever. Thanks for your Gohan, loser. I can't sell them pants because King's not here to sell pants. He's already up in the way station. Trade only has a it has a finite distance that it will allow you to. Uh... Oh, I think we're good on food. <laughs> yeah, trade has a finite distance that will allow you to to send goods, like telepathically or whatever. So, with King all the way out here, he was never going to be able to get to that hive in time. wonder who they're shooting at. We provided it's not me, I guess I don't care. Oh yeah, the, the moment you um, initiate a conversation with them, if you're not paused, they'll just start bolting from you. They're very strange like that. So, right now I'm waiting for armor plating to be able to make some additional uh, leg plates. And I think the main bottleneck there is actually ore. Uh, pulling ore up from the, the mines so that our craftsmen can uh, to hammer into plates. Oh, it's a big thing. Oren, did you just deliver that to the... Yes, you did. You know, you shouldn't do that, Oren. That's kind of, like, unhelpful, because that meat could have gone to meat wraps, but fine. That might be one of the reasons why our uh, food bin is so full. Uh, are the pants cute for my crafters? Uh, currently, no. No, they're not. So let's let's uh, continue those leg plate cues. I... I, um... The armor's... We were waiting until we went to war, right? Until the big wars, so they don't need to come out immediately. Because we'll tr just train with the, the leg armor. Alright, I only need four more. Oh, that's masterwork. Sweet. Our masterwork procs are pretty high here. Give this to Trustin. Yet another taunt tank. And then glitch. Here is your pants. And then chemo, turda, fang. So three more. Sweet. Rodzillin. Thank you for the follow. Did we vote on another armor style? Yes, samurai armor. It won by like two votes. It was very, very close. Okay, I am going to need a new weapon cabinet. Be 
because the frag axes are a little extremely huge. I'll just put it in the doorway. Huh. No, I'm not going to do that. Too much pride. Blow up the old weapon smithy and then put it there. Darkwing, thanks for the follow as well. And I'm sure my engineers will automatically do. Yep, here we go. Instant. So now Glitch has somewhere to put uh, the other weapons. This Merc Club needs to go to Cali. I don't know why Glitch keistered it. Because it goes in a second slot, I guess. But that needs to go to Cali. So Cali, where are you? Because you didn't want the Jete. Okie dokie. And we just have two more pants to make. And then we'll do the mass strength training. Did the leather armor? No, we never finished the rags. Why not? Because we don't have leather. Oh, that's a very good reason. All right, let me finish the uh, Assassin's Rags. Because we were... Uh, I'm going to mold it over for Poetic. Poetic, are you here? You can actually, uh, if, if you want, you can decide on your, your armor types. I'm not sure. There's two schools of thought. There's one that is like, go mid-max, go for broke. And then there's the other, which is like, protect yourself as much as you can. Um... And I could be convinced to go either way. So the good news is we've spent enough time at home that we have plenty of food to go on a training or war campaign. We're almost done with the leg plates. We only have one left to make. Almost everybody has customized weapons to their liking. And then we have all these backpacks for strength training up to 40. So let's figure out who needs strength training. Not Kang. Uh, probably functionally not Shona either. So I guess those are going to be the only two. No. Yeah, yeah. Those are the only two. Kang and Shona. So we only really need 30 people to strength train, not 32. Makes it a little bit easier. That last backpack that I was hunting for, I guess, after all, was not necessary. So. Glad I bought it, but... Definitely a fool's errand. So that, uh... There's the Assassin's Rags, and... Wasn't that last leg plate supposed to be for the crafters, not Poetic? Uh, Poetic doesn't have it. Oh, whoops, Poetic does have it. You're right. I meant to give it to Turta. How did I manage to give it to Poetic? When I thought I was giving it to Turta. So here's the last one, and this is goes to Fang. So we're all... Turta, please ditch it. We're all armored up now. I knew how to drag and drop. Uh, Poetic, I'm going to give you the Assassin's Rags. So this is what you look like now. Very, very strange. So the Assassin's Rags, if you can see, really helps out stealth, crossbows, dodge, combat speed, dex, assassination, fist protection, melee attack bonus, um, martial arts bonus. And then what I'm going to do for the shirt here, because the Assassin's Rags don't cover very well, is give you uh, a different, not the martial artist bindings, give you a... Probably a turtleneck that I, like, take off of someone. I'm going to see if there's a better... Oh, yeah, here. Uh, Gizo will give up his turtleneck. Because all the other combatants are going to go up to... Um, 
they're going to go up to Chainmail, so not much of a problem to, to steal Turtle Neck. So Gizo, I owe you that. But yeah, that's a little bit better armor. And then let's take a look at you. This is what you look like. Very, very, very light armor. So a little worried about you, but uh, that was the that was the uh, the choice that you made there. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish up this black and chainmail for Gizo, uh, so the Gizo doesn't, isn't without a shirt because he'd be the only one without the shirt otherwise. And then we'll get uh, we'll get strength training. We'll try to get everybody up to forty and um, yeah, glass cannon for the win. And his martial arts skill, I wouldn't say it's really glass cannon. It's more just uh, glass. Bobco, thank you for the uh, the resub. All right, black and chainmail. So that's what we're waiting on. Yeah, less cannon, more glass. Sadly. Doesn't mean I'm going to throw you into the fire, you know. going to try to keep you alive as best as I can, but things happen. Uh, Fang, don't sit on Rain's lap. She doesn't like it. Yoda. Yoda. Free treats. Well, not free. Siddhartha. Paid up for him. Okay, there we go. So, Gizo, here's your chainmail. It's masterwork, so... Upgrade. You went from leather to chainmail. Masterwork to masterwork. And... Let's get training. So, in order to do that, uh, jobs are off for everybody. Everybody, everybody. I'm gonna merge into... I'm actually, um, hmm. I don't really think I need to strength train headshot either or poetic. It might, I'll do it anyway, but with the understanding that it's like not necessary. So I'm only uh, I'm only separating these guys out so that um, I can easily set up the gear here. So now everyone converge, and then I want people to put away their inventories of garbage. Thank you for tuning in to Kenji Shaq's Conquest, which originally streamed live on Twitch January 20th. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. If you'd like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. If you'd like to take part in some of the Discord community events, please consider joining Discord. The link is at Rodamont.com or in the description of this video. Thank you so very much for watching, and a special thank you to my Patreon patrons, Twitch subscribers, and viewers like you that support the channel. I'll catch you next episode. Farewell.